Working through the night and in freezing temperatures, these scientists are sending their probe to collect samples from the depths of the Arctic Ocean. A race against the clock to uncover the secrets of the world's smallest and least studied ocean. The water is being sampled to analyze different trace metals, for example, iron, manganese, aluminium. Uh, I think some people are also working with uh, isotopes. I'm working with lead isotopes, iron isotopes, uh, uh, zinc, cadmium. So a bunch of trace metals are being analyzed. Each summer, the Amundsen icebreaker acts as a floating laboratory for around 40 scientists. But the reach of their work stretches far past the territory within the North Pole. Les changements de l'Arctique ont des influences qui vont bien plus loin que l'Arctique elle-même, mais elles vont. The Arctic changes have influences that go beyond the Arctic itself and will particularly affect the North Atlantic and possibly even the ocean as a whole. L'Atlantique Nord c'est une zone de formation d'eau profonde. The melting ice caps risk reducing the salinity of the world's oceans. This could alter the currents and the movement of warm and cold water between the poles and the equator potentially making the Earth uninhabitable. To get a better idea of what might happen, Natalie is collecting ice cores to measure their salt composition. We study how the thickness of the different strata of ice are changing. Based on their findings, these Arctic specialists are categorical. The top of the world has already warmed by three degrees Celsius since the beginning of the industrial age and climate change is speeding up.